What's a filthy rich Seraphim doing in a dump like this? Perhaps my standards are abnormally high, but every establishment I've been to on this planet appears to be a dump. I hear that a Seraphim like you buys and sells a dozen planets before breakfast. An absurd exaggeration. I have never purchased more than nine planets before the morning meal. So you collect art, huh? Anyone can collect art. I also collect art forgeries. They exhibit a craft and style that often surpasses the original. What do you like to bet on? Anything and everything. The only trouble is most wages are just so drearily predictable. I like a good bet myself. Maybe you and I could... What an absurd concept. Uh, what wager could you possibly propose that would interest me? I'll bet... I'll bet I can guess how much your latest planet cost you. Oh, please. That amount is already recorded in the log of the Association of Planetary Realtors. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. Okay, then I'll bet, uh, I'll bet that I can guess your private code name for your deal. You almost begin to amuse me, alias Node. I will make that wager. What have you got in the pipeline? With the profits from my current deal, I will ascend to a new level, trading entire star systems and even small clusters. Every Seraphin aspires to such a goal, but few reach it. I regret that we failed to reach the meeting. We realized that none of us knew how to drive. Bad news, boss. We couldn't make it to the meeting. We didn't have anyone who knew how to drive. Bad news, boss. We couldn't budge them. Bad news, boss. They wouldn't budge. The meeting was a failure. I admit that I went overboard in my voltage consumption. The meeting went badly. I had, er, uh, uh, a bit too much voltage. You have violated one of the most basic rules of deal-making. I have lost all confidence in you and will no longer consider investing in your venture. I must be mad to waste my insanely valuable time talking to an obscure nothing such as yourself. However, it is so rare to be able to discuss my dealings with someone who is incapable of using that knowledge against me. What do you want? Now, Quash, you know you're going to have to come out so we can get this deal on track. I'm a perfectly happy right here. Where is it written that uh, planetary purchases can't be negotiated through a bathroom door? If you don't come out right now, you can forget about the deal. Fine with me. Uh, at least you'll leave me alone. Uh, by the way, I, I sent out for Azorian food. Uh, have the robo-butler bring it in when he arrives. So, if we had decided to negotiate this deal at my campsite in the Schleb Mountains, would you currently be locking yourself in the outhouse? I detect an element of sarcasm in your comment, and I will now end this conversation while I reconsider my involvement in this deal. Quash, unlock this door, or I will instruct my robo-butler to break it down. I think not, Devin. I happen to know you paid 43 megazots for this woodwork. However, I question whether I want to be partnered with someone who loses his temper so easily. Leave me alone while I consider this. Ah, alias Node, have you guessed the private code for my armpit three deal? I think I have, Devon Seven. Is this it?
That is incorrect, Elias Node. But feel free to try again. I find your guesses to be delightfully unpredictable. Ah, Elias Node, have you guessed the private code for my armpit three deal? Let me think about it some more. <laughs>